Hey everyone, welcome back to digital site. In this video we will see introduction to pandas which includes what is pandas, why it is growing so rapidly, why use pandas over others and its helpful features. Pandas is open source python library, comes with some amazing data analysis tools and easy data structures. Pandas is used in data science and many data scientists started using python because of pandas. If we talk about python, python is growing rapidly in data science as you can see in growth of pandas, which is the fastest growing python related tag on stack overflow. Pandas is number one choice of data scientist. After pandas, we have numpy and matplotlib as most used python package by data scientist. Before pandas, there was not so much use of python in data science, but after pandas, Python is first choice of data scientist. Now, why should I use pandas? Pandas provides fast, flexible and expressive data structures to easily work with relational data. And pandas is most powerful and flexible open source data analysis tool in any language. If you are excel guy, then you might compare pandas with excel, but excel have its limitation. Simplest example can be. What if you have data in gigs, then excel cannot handle that large data. And as I previously said, pandas is most powerful analysis tool. Now where pandas is used? Answer to this question is analytics, economic, finance and many other fields. Here are some of pandas features. First of all, it is very fast and efficient because of its data frame object which we will see soon in this video. Pandas can handle missing data easily. You can also reshape and pivot datasets. Merging and joining datasets. Robust I.O. tools for loading data from CSV files, Excel files, databases. High performance and many more. Now let's see pandas in action. I am using Jupyter notebook here. So we can easily see our results and I also want to show you how data frame looks. And to launch Jupyter Notebook, I will use Anaconda. If you don't know about Anaconda, I highly recommend watch my video on what is Anaconda, Jupyter Notebook and Spider. And if you do but don't know how to install it, I also have video on how to install Anaconda and access Jupyter Notebook. So let's head over Jupyter Notebook. So now we are in browser with address of localhost colon 4 times 8 forward slash tree. And besides this, we also have this Jupyter Notebook console. Don't close this console because if you do, Jupyter Notebook will be stopped. So let's minimize it. And in my desktop, I am creating new notebook, Python 3. So first of all, let's talk about how to install pandas if you are using anaconda then pandas comes with anaconda but if you don't then you may have to install dependencies like numpy and matplotlib and after that you can install pandas and you can install it using pip install pandas and after that just write import pandas as pd now to run I will use shift enter. Ok now our pandas package is imported. Now let's talk about data frame data structure. Data frame is two dimensional data structure just like tables in rows and columns. We can create data frame using pd.dataframe and these are parameters for data frame method data, index, columns, d type which is data type and copy. Now in this example, I am going to use this dictionary
so in our example i am going to use this dictionary so i will create data frame using pd dot pd dot data frame and i will pass data variable as my data now shift enter and as you can see our data is now in tabular form and we have two columns name and marks as in our data variable now let's store this data frame in variable so i will name it marks pd dot data frame and as data our data variable shift enter and now if i look at marks here is our marks and to access just marks column i have to type marks square brackets quotation marks and name of that column which is marks shift enter and as you can see we have marks 98 95 85 and 89 you can also get names just like this all right here's are our name tony bruce steve and natasha now how you can get maximum marks for that we will use marks dot max and this gives maximum marks now let's say i have other column from where i want to find maximum value so for that we can use marks name of the column which is marks again and dot max and now if i hit enter shift enter apologies we can see maximum value of that column which is 98 you can also find minimum marks just like this but using min function so if i write min function here and shift enter you can see minimum marks is 85 you can also get a minimum value from column like this just change it to min and shift enter and here's the minimum value 85 you can also add and remove rows and columns using pandas now let's say i want to remove name column for that i will use del marks name of our column which is name and shift enter now if we look at our variable marks we only have marks because here we removed name column and because this was just introduction video that's why i used this simple example and again pandas is very powerful and flexible and you can do much more with pandas i think this is enough for this introduction video and to find more useful videos every week don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell